the main ring system. So, we're going to that new giant ring they found around Saturn, huh? That's right, Erwin. It was revealed by the Spitzer Space Telescope in October 2009. It's by far the largest ring around Saturn. How big is it in Erwin units? I'm not really sure what an Erwin unit is, but this ring is so large it would take about one billion Earths to fill the inside of it. Wow! Where are we going to get that many Earths? We're not actually going to do that. Oh man. Well, if it's that big, you'd think the humans would have noticed it before now. I can't wait to see it. Take a look for yourself. Um, is it behind us? No, but it's incredibly tenuous. It's made up of a thin array of ice and dust particles that are so small, dark, and spread out that it doesn't reflect much visible light for the human eye to see. So, we just discovered the largest ring ever around Saturn, and it's invisible. Basically, yes. Is this something you dreamed? Just wait. Switch the forward viewport to infrared view. Ah! Indeed. While the dark particles may be impossible for us to see in visible light, it does absorb enough heat from the sun to glow brilliantly in the infrared. Here. This is an actual photo of the ring, an edge-on view taken by Spitzer. Wow! And no one knew this was here until this year. That's right. And if you think that's something, take a look in front of us. Uh, switch the view screen back to visible light. This is Iapetus, one of Saturn's moons. What's the deal with the dark spot? I'm glad you asked. As you can see, the dark spot covers practically half the moon. No, I mean that dark spot. Is that part of the moon? That's no moon. Erwin, what's going on? We're caught in a tractor beam, 30 Erwin units away. Full power to the engines. Seriously, what's an Erwin unit? It's a pretty flexible unit of measurement. It's no good! The tractor beam is too strong! The right engine is overheating. We need to shut it down. Who are these guys? Welcome back to the only talk show produced by Robots for Robots. Hey, it's my cousin, IR2! We've been captured by a talk show? An evil talk show. We're in the process of taking over the universe. <laughs> We're also in the middle of a scintillating interview with Star Trek's own Will Wheaton. I'm promoting my new book, Wheaton-esque. A real page turner if I do say so. Well, thank you, IR2. That robot looks just like you. Yeah, it's kind of a Vulcan Romulan budget deal. Oh. Anyway. We're here to harvest a cloaking technology that has kept Saturn's largest ring hidden all these years. Using it to cloak our space station will help us rule the universe! That would be pretty cool. Hold on. There isn't any cloaking technology involved here. Oh. Well, I suppose you think this invisible ring just shot up out of nowhere. Kind of like how my book shot up the bestseller list. That's a great comparison, Will. Thank you. It didn't appear from nowhere. Another one of Saturn's moons, Phoebe, actually orbits within the ring. Is that the moon with the big dark spot? No, that's Iapetus, a moon that just intersects the ring. Phoebe, on the other hand, orbits in the opposite direction of Saturn and most of its other moons. Its orbit is also dramatically offset from Saturn's main ring plane, just like this newly discovered ring. In fact, they both line up very closely with each other. Because of this, astronomers think that the ring was formed by asteroid impacts on Phoebe's surface, blasting off dust into space. Uh-huh. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Occam's razor? Of course. It means that the simplest theory, the one that makes the fewest assumptions, is the best one to accept. Will, you want to field this one? Cloaking technology sounds pretty simple to me. Thank you. Whatever. So, why are you holding us in a tractor beam? Because since you know so much about our plans, we can't let you leave. But we only know about your plans because you just told us. Thank you, TubaBot. Just for that, we're gonna go ahead and destroy you just like we were already planning to. Producer Bot, engage the carving laser! Erwin, what's our engine status? We're at full power, but they're still pulling us in. Our right engine core is critical. It's about to explode. <laughs> Can we fly on one engine? Sure, why? 
you ejected the engine core? The tractor beam should pull it right in. But it's about to explode! Oh, right. Rats. We're free! Then let's get out of here. You never did explain about the dark side of this Mooney Apatus. Maybe it's a cloaking test gone wrong. Erwin, remember the concept of Occam's razor? That means go with the simplest theory, right? Essentially. Now, think about this moon. Obviously, its orbit occasionally passes through this giant ring of dark material like it's doing right now. Gotcha. So a logical theory could be... That the moon's dark side is the material it's sweeping up from the ring. Just like bugs on a windshield. And that's exactly what astronomers think is going on. They observed that this moon had a light and dark side over 200 years ago, but it wasn't until Spitzer's discovery this year that the mystery was finally solved. Maybe my cousin can still use it to help him rule the universe. Listen, Erwin, I'm sorry about destroying your evil cousin in a space station. Oh, don't worry. They're always getting blown up, and they always rebuild themselves really quickly. What? Erwin, put them on the monitor. Magnify. Increase by 10 to the third. Erwin, go! Ah! Resisting us is inconsequential. So is resisting the urge to buy my new book, Wheaton-esque. You know, I was trying to go with dramatic here. We can't outrun them with only one engine. We need to hide in that giant ring where we can play an intricate game of cat and mouse among the dust. With luck, they will only exhibit two-dimensional thinking. Erwin, we're already in the ring. It's invisible except in the infrared, remember? Oh yeah. Maybe if we ask my cousin to switch to infrared view? That won't work. But I have an idea. Arc the ship around 180 degrees. What? I mean, 180 Irwin units. I'm on it! Now give us as much speed as you can straight ahead. Hold integrity is down to four Irwin units. Almost there. Hey, where'd all the stars go? Now, pull up. Stay after them. Hey, where'd all the stars go? It's okay. I'm still here. Devil rats. That sure is a lot of dust they kicked up. Yes, and that's exactly the sort of impact that happened repeatedly on the moon Phoebe, which created this giant ring in the first place. The ring was formed by evil robots blowing up and rebuilding themselves? Um, I think... Asteroids are the more likely impactors. Wow! Asteroids can rebuild themselves? Erwin, do you have an off button? Yeah, right here. Why? Is this something? That's right, TubaBot. I've activated our station auto repair. As soon as it's rebuilt, we'll go and have our revenge. <laughs> Does every piece have to hit me first? Ow! Ow! That one's gonna leave a mark. Ow! 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 it! Ow! So is there still time to plug my new album? It's called Will Songs. You know, like like whale songs, will songs. They both start with W. Shove a cork in it, Wheaton. Ow.